Here's the quote. To be honest, they yeah. quit on Brian Shaw. Thought, uh, thought they uh, did quit again. A quitter is a quitter. Yeah, Kevin. Uh, he's he's one of my best friends actually, and he's he's very emotional. Um, I'm sure he wasn't happy to lose that game last night, but you know, if you look at the last two games, I mean, they're playing hard. Look like they're having fun, uh, and. It's the same personnel, same guys there. So, you know, it's, it's, I can understand what he's saying. You know, oftentimes in, in our league, you know, a coach's voice is, 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 it comes a point where it's not heard anymore. And obviously that happened with Brian Shaw. Um, for whatever reasons, you know, none of us, I know I wasn't in that locker room. I'm kind of outside looking in now. So it's unfortunate. You know, it's very unfortunate for B. Shaw. I was really pulling for him. He's a friend of mine as well, and I thought that he good. comes from one great of the best, stock. One of the good you know, guys. Fantastic yeah. guy. Um, so, you know, I, I hated to see that happen, but you know, again, I can, I can see what what KG's seeing. I Troy, think it's an feelings, indictment. Yeah. It's an indictment on the players that they won these last two games. Their effort, their intensity, their passion. It's clear that they spent the last six weeks trying to get Brian Shaw fired. And professionals, when they try to get someone fired, what they do is send a team leader up to the GM and say, we can't deal with this guy anymore. You don't tank six no, weeks of games no. and embarrass yourself. I've had this argument with players who get, in my experience is mainly in Major League Baseball, when they get sent down to AAA, like I'll show them, I'm gonna go down there and pout. I'm going to show, I'm going to go, do, I'm like, the only person you hurt is yourself. Correct. The only person you ever hurt is yourself. It's a selfish act to quit. And what's bothered me in watching the Nuggets, and I, I don't dispute uh, Garnett's quote. I watch a lot of Nuggets games. My dad was a high school coach. I love basketball. So I watch games just as a fan and a curse. I don't have an inside knowledge of the locker room. But the, the idea they quit, I don't dispute that. And I blame their te the guys on the team, whether it's Lawson or Fareed, who get paid. One of those two has to step up, and Ty at times tries to, and I do think he's salvageable because of his talent. But the idea that you would use six weeks to completely take the uh, hammer to your coach's knee, that's just so unprofessional. And I've covered some terrible it, it, Rockies but teams. But both of you have seen this in the course of Denver. Let's just talk about Denver here for a second. The players quit on Clint Hurdle. He got fired. Jim Tracy comes in, turns the team around. We have seen it. They the tuned him out. They didn't quit. To me, there's a d difference. When they don't, like Chauncey said, that becomes background noise and the yeah. coach, and Brian Shaw admittedly said he, you know, he was reading a book on millennials on how to relate to young kids. It, clearly, he was grasping for straws. And when right before Clint Hurdle got fired, he benched Troy Tulowitzki for this stupid rule they created in spring training that if someone walked on four pitches in front of you, you had to take the next pitch. Tulo right. Swang popped up. He benched him, and I went to Hurdle and said, you're getting fired. Because everyone in the clubhouse was like, our manager's lost his mind. You don't bench Troy Tulowitzki over a Little League rule. But the difference is those Rockies teams still provided effort. Baseball in itself is a solo performance in a concert. Yeah. You can still perform, Chauncey, right? Isn't there, how, how do you defend guys not giving effort? I can see being mad at your coach. I've had plenty yeah. of coaches I played for that I couldn't stand. Yeah. But I'm not going to, it's an embarrassment to me and my family if I'm out there pouting around acting like a baby. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I've always said, and I've been on some great teams, I've been on some horrible teams. <laughs> right. Um, and I have, but, but the one thing that, that remained a constant is, you know, I, I, I've, I've always been a, seen myself as a good leader. Okay. Okay. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to win. Sometimes you don't have the talent to win. Right. However, the mindset of just going out there and playing and competing, um, you know, I always, I say this all the time, is, you know, everybody talks about the letters on the front of your jersey, um, which could change any day. Um, but the letters on the back of your jersey are never going to change. People, the reputation that you're going to build, good or bad, those letters on the back of that jersey, they will always remain the same. You represent that. You know what I'm saying? I used to joke with guys in locker room saying, bro, my mama watching this game. <laughs> <laughs> my mama watching this game. My mama proud of me, you know what I'm right. saying? I'm, I'm going to do the best I can do.